Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We are here with the Troxxas Volcanus. This is a 48 volt fat tire e-bike with 26 inch wheels. We wanna get an extra battery hooked up to this. Uh, we are just gonna utilize the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that it, we've commonly used in a lot of these videos. And then I think the best placement is going to be right here. So this will be our target point with the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. What we'll do is just like you saw in the video before with the Skyhopper, we're going to take our cables and then we'll just heat shrink wrap around them. So not quite the plug and play, but the opening underneath the bottom bracket of the Volcanus and the Skyhopper, uh, you just kind of want to get some heat shrink wrap on that uh, to give it a little more protection than what would normally be there if you just plugged in the XT60s. I chose this half inch heat shrink wrap because it will shrink around two uh, wire leads for 14 gauge wire or larger and then it works well with uh, XT60s because it will slip right over the top of them uh, perfectly. So uh, this is some good stuff. We'll leave a link for this in the description below. We will take that and then utilize our heat gun. Uh, we'll leave a link for just a heat gun in the description below. And then of course, as I said, the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery. We've used this battery on all of our bikes. Every battery that we have that has an electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit, we utilize this battery. It's just so compact and it just works well. The Velcro straps, while some may think this is a security issue, it allows for easy removal. Thieves are gonna thieve. And that's always been my belief. What you can do to protect that and keep them from doing so is another thing. We really like this bag because of its versatility, ease of installation, and compact size. So uh, we're gonna continue to show this. You are not restricted to this battery. Any 48 volt battery that you choose, just make sure that you have an adaptation to the XT60 connection, which is on the dual battery discharge balance kit. And that would be here. Likely you'll be running out with another cable, so these are your XT60 ends. And then you have all three on the dual battery discharge balancer. Without further ado, we're just gonna get right into this. Here we go. Troxxas Volcanus is a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery. And it's heavy too. What I'm gonna do is probably turn this around so uh, I'll keep these recording, but <laughs> this should be, this should look like a circus. Uh, I'm gonna try and do it with the bike attached because it's difficult to get this at height and then, and then turn it around. But my chain wheel is in the way and I wanna be able to show you guys with the bike flipped what's going on so you can see that and then what I'll do is I'll bring the cables right up through the seat post, flip the bike around once we've done all the tests, and then show you the hookup with the battery right side up. A little trick on that one, I use my seat post as my pivot. So instead of trying to take the rack and then turn it, I use the seat post and just loosened it and rotated it. So I'm after this um, zip tie right now to loosen the cables. By experience, I know that the XT60 is probably here for the battery connection. I do wonder why this was never heat shrink, but we'll go ahead and take care of that. And that's it. And then we have, it looks like they wrapped up another errant power connection. This may be for an accessory item or 
uh, another bike and so we're just gonna remove the heat shrink on that I will probably try and shift this over and then just put a little bit bigger piece on it So this is going to be our way. We're just going to, we're, what we're trying to do is get these cables straight out to the discharge balancer, which we're not going to place anywhere here uh, underneath the bike. You can see that the exposure, I just, that's not where it's at. So it'll be a move like that. And then you can see that the cables are running through here. I'll probably run them down the post right up underneath the controller and then use some sort of mounting position here for a zip tie. And then that will get us right into the crossbar section so that we can go ahead and plug this in. So I'm just looking to see right now what is my best fit without releasing all these cables? Okay, I like this because it's going to put a majority of heat shrink wrap on the downside of the bike, so that is the first to come at it instead of the actual connection. So, what we'll do is I think this is going to be the route. We'll slide these over here. and then run them down the seat post. And then I'm gonna roll this over and then put a nice big piece onto this connection. I'm trying to be careful not to burn this uh, sleeving from the cables themselves, so beware of that. Don't burn your sleeving. Don't melt it.
whoever put together this bike knew because of the zip tie right there and they didn't they didn't do anything about this So this wrap has um, controller to display, um, display to motor, and then the two power cables from the battery and to the controller. We're going to go ahead and test the balancer. What you want to do is just go ahead and grab your ends. There's no real way to mess this up, so it will only fit accordingly. And we'll just go ahead and grab this one for battery one. And there you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the bike. And there we go. We know that we have power. This is our balancer, so it is making the connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the battery, and then I'm going to get my second battery and test the connection to the balancer. So we'll take this and wrap it up. I'm gonna run the cables down on the chain wheel side, running them together. All right, here's the recommended battery. Go ahead and cover this charging port. Recommended battery, we're just gonna plug it into one of the ports of the dual battery discharge balancer. We know that the second battery is not hooked up. The connection is here. Let's go ahead and test it out. And there we go, we have live wheel. That's from the recommended battery. And so now we're just ready to tuck our balancer inside the bike and then give it a test ride. All right, we are back in action. The 48 volt, 26 amp hour Troxxas Volcanus is finished. We did it with a 40 amp dual battery discharge balance kit and the typical 48, 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery that we utilize throughout a lot of our builds. It's just so versatile. Uh, it fit really well here in the space below the crossbar. And we look forward to testing this out and adding that increased percentage of range with this second battery. Um, 
I'm not quite sure how long this install took, but the heat shrink wrap is worth the extra time. So you definitely wanna take your time and do that. And I've actually seen a guard plate that people are putting underneath. And so I will see if I can drum that up. I believe it was in the Troxus group for Facebook. So I'll check that out and see if I can put that in uh, the description below as well. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We are trying to get through as many bikes as we can. The 20 amp kit keeps selling out. There are a lot of electric owners that are out there that are utilizing that kit uh, to the max potential. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. We'd love to have you. We need more people bringing that vibe. We have a lot of versatility and I'm here, but I have my day job and then we love working on these bikes for people. So uh, we need people to participate. So get in there, set up an event and let's go for a ride. We'll talk to you next time.